guys, it's Presley with MTG Lion, and today I want to talk to you guys about altered cards and whether or not they're actually legal or illegal. And first, to do that, we actually have to differentiate, and what we need to differentiate from is the originals, the proxies, and the counterfeits. And the thing is, is a proxy is a replica of the original because the original is like destroyed or it's worn out and it's used in the DCI sanctioned tournaments. Um, counterfeit of course is fake or printed and the empty M or the Magic the Gathering Magic the Gathering altars are the original art form must be in some kind of way recognizable. So most altars are they're just Magic the Gathering altars are artistic modifications and they're made on an original card. And additions like... Okay. Hi, this is Presley with MTG Lion and today we're going to talk about whether or not Magic the Gathering altar cards are legal or illegal. And first to do that we actually need to differentiate between counterfeit, proxy, and altar cards. Now. Of course, counterfeit is fake or printed. Proxy cards are actually replicas that are used in G DCI sanctioned tournaments. And they're just to replace like a destroyed or worn out card. Now, altars are just the original modification, obviously, with some extra art on it. Um, now, in some scenarios, it could be legal, and this is how. Um, the original art has to be somewhat recognizable, um, which means you have to know what's going on with the card. You have to be able to really kind of tell what the original copy was in the first place. Another one is that it cannot have anything to do with the mana. You can't have that obstructed in any way. It also can't be offensive because Magic the Gathering is played by all kinds of people, usually teens, like 13 and up. You always have to be careful what you are altering your card to be because you want to make sure that it's something that everyone can enjoy and play together without any issues. Um, another one is that the... Er, another way that it can be legal is as long as the modification doesn't give any hints or any clues about what's going on about the player. Um, basically what it comes down to though is that the head judge is going to have the final say in that. Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes into kind of trying to decide whether or not the card will be usable in a tournament or not and unfortunately what they say goes. So um, really the question is should you alter the cards? You know, And in my personal opinion I think it's a great artistic Piece. I think a lot of what makes magic so much fun is how great the art looks. So I think expanding on that and just adding more artistic exposure is never a bad thing. I think that's always a good thing. Um, I would say just be very careful how you go about it and what you put there because you always want to make sure that it's something that you can still enjoy playing in your deck without having to just throw it to the side. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion on altered decks and those are also the facts on how it works in the DSI tournaments or DCI sanctioned tournaments and uh, thank you guys for watching.